At the moment, Mac OS X Yosemite is only available to developers. This is mainly due to the fact that it's still rather buggy and it still isn't ready for the public to be using. But if you're like me, you're going to be wanting to play around with it and see what apps work with it, or at least try out the new user interface. First off, make sure your Mac is actually compatible with Yosemite. Here is a comparison, uh, or here is the chart that tells you what Macs are compatible. So if your Mac is newer, or is are these models, you can run Yosemite, although I do recommend upgrading to get the full experience. Um, Next, you're going to be wanting to download Yosemite through the Mac App Store or the Developer Portal. Currently, they're going to send out uh, beta testers invites, redemption codes, so you can redeem it on the Mac App Store and download the public beta. But for now, there's only a developer beta, so go, down that, go download that from the Developer Portal if you are indeed an Apple developer. Next, you're going to want to make sure you partition your drive. You don't really want to be installing uh, Yosemite over Mavericks, um, mainly due to the fact that it's still rather buggy, and you want to just test it out. You don't want to override Mavericks, otherwise you'd be looking at a fresh install if you want to get back to Mavericks. To install it on a partition, so you can have two separate operating systems, one for your old Mavericks, one for trying out new apps and Yosemite, you're going to want to go to your Applications folder, and type in disk utility, or just go up to Spotlight and type in disk utility. I recommend partitioning it on your local Macintosh HD, um, just so it's faster. You can install it on an external drive if it's fast enough, although you will be uh, getting slower performance. To partition a drive, click on its top layer. So notice here there's a partition that's called Macintosh HD, that's my Mavericks, and Yosemite Beta 1. I've already installed Yosemite, so I'm just running through the steps. Next, click on Partition. This gives you a graphical representation of your drive, so you can just go ahead and click on Plus. Next, you're going to want to make the partition size around 60 gigs or so, just to give you a little bit of breathing room so you can install a few apps and make sure they work. The actual operating system itself only needs around 13 gigs or so, but I don't quote me on that. That's just what I've seen somewhere. I will give it at minimum 30 gig. Make sure it's called Mac OS X journalated and make sure it's actually called Yosemite Beta 1 or something that's easy to understand. Next, you're going to want to copy your uh, install Yosemite application onto your desktop or somewhere that's easy to access and double click it. Next, click continue. Read the software license agreement and click Agree. Next, this is a very important step. You're going to want to click on Show All Disks. You're then going to want to select the Yosemite Beta 1 or whatever you called your new partition. Otherwise, it would install over your Macintosh HD, which would uh, wipe away Mavericks. You wouldn't lose your data. However, I do not recommend it at all because it is still a developer preview. Once the final version and all bugs and all kinks are worked out, then by all means, go ahead and wipe away that Mavericks. Then click Next, and then your Mac will begin restarting, and the install of Yosemite will start. Now, I have played around with Yosemite for a few hours now, and I have just completed a video on my first impressions of Yosemite. So once this video goes up, um, hopefully this video the other video will be up as well. So go ahead and click the link down in the description to see the other video regarding my first impressions of Mac OS X Yosemite. I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, leave comments down below if you want me to go a bit slower or if you want me to go more in depth. Um, any constructive criticism is greatly appreciated. If you want to see any uh, special features in Yosemite, Leave a comment down below. Continuity and that doesn't work currently because it's still in developer preview, but the interface and all the new UI and that is slowly getting there. Some things still have a little few kinks. Um, notification centers there, the new dock, the new UI, new Helvetica font, everything is still there. So thank you again for watching. I hope you had a nice day and have fun with macOS 10 Yosemite.